grant you peace May his love shine down Love shine down And me Your every need And keep your feet from stumbling And fix your eyes on the mark on the prize as you go may you rest in Christ receive his grace to love all men in spite of all our different your words be filled with life that crumble walls of fear and pride take up the cross to serve the least and the lost as you go be the your strength and your victory yeah. He comes behind you and he is He is the cup and the portion Welcome to Tri Church Worship. We give thanks for our whole community of faith, those worshiping over the phone, online, and in person. Thank you for praising God with us today we, as we pray for and ask God's blessing upon our Tri Church graduates. As we begin, we remember that God is with us. We remember that all people are created in the image of God. We remember that God loves all of humanity. We remember and we worship our living and loving God. Let us give thanks to God who guides us to face the challenges and opportunities of life. We thank you, God, for your leading, your encouragement through the calling to be a learner. We thank you for parents and guardians, for grandparents, aunts and uncles, cousins and friends who are like family, for friends, classmates, and neighbors. We thank you for our congregations, for time and space to worship, learn, and serve together. We thank you for educators, teachers, and all their assistants, for school volunteers and recess supervisors, for counselors, office staff, principals, superintendents, and all staff, for school bus drivers, meal providers and preparers, custodians, maintenance workers, and all staff. We thank you for coaches, referees, play directors, dance instructors, and all who offer extracurricular opportunities. We thank you for taxpayers and those who donate to education and activities, for our communities, for local government leadership, for all who volunteer to make our communities a better place. 
We thank you for first responders, all medical personnel, law enforcement officers, firefighters, and all support systems. We thank you for students and graduates. We thank you, God, for everyone who makes it possible for people to grow and learn. Let us pray. Eternal love, we come to worship you today. We thank you for all these things in abundance more. We praise you, God, the mighty creator, Christ, the gracious redeemer, and Sophia, the wise spirit. Awaken, Awaken us, us to your, your love and presence. presence. We, we come, come to worship, worship you. you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of love, thank you for this day that you have made. We rejoice and are glad in it. We come to worship you, creator, redeemer, and sustainer. Amen. As we come to God's word today, we remember that every translation of the Bible is also an interpretation. For oftentimes in English, there are many different words for words in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, the original biblical texts. And so today we have one scripture in two different translations. The first from the New Revised Standard Version, a reading of Joshua 1, verse 9. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. 
And from the message translation, haven't I commanded you? Strength, courage, do not be timid. Don't get discouraged. God, your God is with you every step you take. Beloveds, this day and every day, God is with you. God is present in your midst, as present as your every breath. God is with you no matter what each day brings. In the waters of baptism, God has claimed you as God's own. You and all human beings are created in the image of God, holy and completely loved as you are, not as you wish you were, or as anyone tells you that you should be, you are loved as you are right now, you, the real you. And the God who loves, forgives, and makes all things new is with you. God is with you no matter what each day brings. Lean into God's presence and love. Welcome God's strength and courage to meet the day, whatever the day may hold. Whether you are near the end or near the beginning of your days, whether you are retired or working, unemployed or underemployed, God is with you. Whether you are a graduate or a student, God is with you. Even in the days and moments where it may not feel like it, God is with you in bounty and in scarcity. God is with you in chaos and calm. May you remember every day that you are not alone, that you are loved. May you lean into God's love and presence as you face each day. May God's love and witness, God's presence in your life, give you strength and courage along the way. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today, we celebrate graduates and all students, especially young people promoting from middle school to high school, high school seniors beginning college, service in the military, or their careers and post high school graduates. We remember that as students and grads achieve successes and academic milestones, that God who is beyond time and space loves them the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We believe in a God whose love is without boundaries. And we believe that God's goodness, love, and mercy truly do follow us all the days of our lives. So students, graduates, People of God, I leave you with the words of the Apostle Paul in his letter to the church in Ephesus. Stand firm and be deeply rooted in God's love. I pray that you and all of God's people will understand what it is called wide or long or high or deep. I want you to know all about Christ's love, although it is too wonderful to be measured. Then your lives will be filled with all that God is. I pray that Christ Jesus and the church will forever bring praise to God. God's power at work in us can do far more than we dare ask or imagine. Amen.
As you head off on the adventure of life, you will not be forgotten. You are part of the body of Christ. We are connected through the Holy Spirit. 
Beloved graduates, we continue to pray for you and think of you when you are away. We thank God for you and ask God's best for you. Congratulations, graduates. Before you were even formed, God knew you. At your birth, God's breath filled you with life. Today, we celebrate who you are and who you are continually becoming in Christ. And so we pray. Eternal God, thank you for our graduates. Increase in them an ever-growing desire to read your word, worship and talk with you daily. Stir their hearts to compassion for others. Spur them on in service. Grant them a thirst for knowledge and deep trust in you. Fuel their lives with purposeful, abundant living. Protect and guide them all of their days. Help them to love you and others with all that they are. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God our thanks and praise. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup, he gave thanks and gave it to all to drink saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You are invited to use elements gathered from your household, bread, a cracker, a chip, whatever you have available, and a beverage of your choosing for communion today. The body of Christ given in love for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace this day and always. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, giver of all good things, thank you for this heavenly food. Fuel us with your love and grace to share the light of your love with all we meet. Amen. Receive this blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the sun shine warm on your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of her hand. Amen. In my rest.
wrestling and in my doubts in my failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa. you are the peace in my troubled sea Go in peace. You are loved by God. Love the Lord. Love others. Love yourself. Follow as Jesus leads. Mm -hmm. 